Our top story, scary moments in a Metro East neighborhood. It was crazy. It had me speechless. I was just like, oh my God. A fiery crash into a home turns deadly, leading to a manhunt for a man with a machete. A five-in-your-side camera was there when he was taken away in handcuffs. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. Tonight, neighbors tell us a mother and daughter were killed when a car crashed into their Belleville home, causing a massive fire. We also know a boy was rescued from the home. New tonight, our Annie Kroll talked with neighbors who were put on lockdown while police searched for the suspect. Mike, the suspect Matthew Thomas was arrested several hours later, armed with a machete about a mile and a half away. Those who live nearby say they're shocked by what happened, but had heard fights at the house before. I didn't hear the crashing of the car. I didn't hear nothing. That was around 9 a.m. on Sunday morning when neighbors Shanice Magruder and her daughter Kyla stuck their head out the door on South 8th Street. A fan of crime TV shows, Magruder quickly saw there was more at play than you may suspect. When I seen how bad the flames were, because at first I thought it was just the house fire, but looking at the flames, because like I just told you, I like a lot of the crazy shows and I watch Chicago Fire. <laughs> I look, looking at the flames, I can tell like it was burning too fast, too quick for it to just be a normal house fire. She was right. Police say a car crashed into this home, setting it ablaze, killing two people inside, confirming it was a woman and a girl. Neighbors tell us they were mother and daughter. How do you wrap your brain around something like that? Like, I don't think you really can wrap your brain around a car hitting somebody while they're at home in the comfort of their own home. Police have identified the suspect as Matthew K. Thomas. Neighbors sharing they'd heard domestic disturbances in the past at the house. I'm in shock too. It's crazy he did that to her because he put her out or because she put him out. I don't feel like no relationship that serious. One boy was rescued from the building. This baby you know, seen most of what happened, so you definitely got to get that baby counseling and get him help with coping with what he's seen because he's going to have a problem for a very long time. After the crash, police say Thomas was seen armed with a machete near the railroad tracks on South 29th Street. They found him around 1 p.m. near a Dollar Tree on Belleville Crossing, where he was then taken into custody. That's, that's wrong. I don't care what, what nobody instead or did to you. You don't play God and take nobody's life like that. Neighbors tell us the little boy rescued was taken to the hospital. Police say Thomas will be held at Belleville Police Department pending further investigation. They aren't seeking any other additional suspects.